Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and Sistonians and welcome! In today's video we're going to be checking out a game called Eyes. This is one of those slender inspired horror games where you collect a certain amount of things while trying to escape or evade a certain entity. This is called Eyes, it's not about Slender Man. This is actually about picking up randomly distributed bags of money. Well actually I don't think it's randomly distri di distributed. But as far as I can tell I played like about 5 seconds of the game and what you have to do is essentially rob a house. Sorry about this, I'm just uh, doing something on my phone here, yada yada yada, this is vague and professional, but I'm just going to reverse my stopwatch just to see how long I've been recording for. There we go. So, instead of a slender man, you have to uh, apparently avoid this evil floating head. And instead of being in a wide open field, you're in a house. But it does a few things differently. For one starters, I think you can actually hide. It takes a bit of a, uh, it takes a note from amnesia. This is the starting, of course. You're able to hide from bodiless ghost head creatures. Okay, I need to fight another day. So this is what's happening, I'm having a nice little PM of somebody who has a front door to a house and I could get at least 20 bags and they're asking me to make a map because that place is huge and that's the last time I go on Omegle. i tell you, this place is freaky. Level is normal, find at least 20 bags of money, then get back to the exit and hide or run from the threats. Preserve your stamina for dire situations and use the map and eyes to move safely. Okay. Okay, why the hell not? Okay, so this is powered by the Unity engine. Uh, it has a resolution of up to 1080p. I'm playing on 720 because my PC hates me. And I guess that's a bag of money. Can't turn on the TV. So this is a horror game, don't forget. And I guess I have a map here. So where's my entrance? Okay, so this is my map. Oh, look at that. There's a key here. The basement key. Oh, basement key found. Oh, dear God. You never go into the basement, do you? Push the door to open. Hello? So you have to walk through doors. Okay, I'm scared already. This probably was not a good idea. Shaking. No, oh, it's the part of the game where you get goosebumps. So I am generally terrified. Just a shame there's no light switches. It's just a shame someone is moving in the room next to me, making me even more paranoid and terrified. You know what? I'm not going to pick up the bags yet. Reason there's a ladder here. Woo! Okay, I get where it's coming from now. It's a scary game. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna pussy out here, though. I'm gonna make that. I'm going to have uh, the light on in with me. Press Q to see. What the hell? What the hell is that? Okay, this is doing things differently. That's good. Okay, do not like pushing the door open because you cannot see anything as you're walking through the door. Did I just jump? Okay, I just jumped. This place is very freaky. Also, I'm not collecting any bags of money yet because. Things are moving everywhere. Stop it! Stop being all jerky. I'm scared already and I haven't even picked up anything. <laughs> this is a bad video to make. But I am not terrified. I'm rather scared. See, the door opening thing is the scariest bit. To me, it's the scariest bit anyway because there's another eye up here. I guess this allows me to see where I'm going. Also, I can't touch my flashlight. And there's no controls for this either. So we have another eye on the wall. Press Q. There's something outside the house. Let's take a look. It was right outside the room I was in. Fuck ah! I'm gonna see you! Ah! Fuck! It's a blowjob from hell! <laughs> okay, so that's what I've essentially got to pull up with. <laughs> so sharp, jagged teeth ready to gnash on me. Me gnash it. So it's... Play again. Okay, story-wise, it's weird. You just seem to go into this house. You have to collect bags of money. I don't know I'm supposed to go to an exit, but quite honestly, I don't know where it is. And quite honestly, I'm getting a bit fed up with the whole collect 10 or something routine that's going on. Well, collect 20 bags of money to make it outside the house. What am I even doing in this bedroom? What never happened to a good old horror game where you had a story in it, such as uh, Amnesia or Cry of Fear? What ever happened to those kinds of games? They used to be good, but now we're just, well, they're just dealing with these whole collect a certain amount of money and just get the job done quickly, bitch. Okay, is this the front door? Okay, why didn't you answer my calls? Ah, oh, I guess I completed the game. <laughs> okay, so that's the front door. Wow, and I completed the game. I got a bag of money, so that's fine. Okay, menu. Okay, so that's essentially eyes in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, so I've shown you the start, I've shown you the finish. Let's see a bit more gameplay. I mean, it's only been a short video. Why not hell not carry on a little? I have the front key, press any key to skip. Blah, 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 blah. So, preserve your stamina for dire situations. So, it seems that there's a few things thrown into the mix here. Besides, you can see where your foe is after you're being chased around. Money. The basement key here. Okay, that's perfectly fine. 
And I don't like the whole walking into doors because you can't see what's behind it. Okay, so there's another eye here. I'm not going to use it quite yet. What I'm going to do is hide in here. And door closed behind me automatically. That's good. Okay, so there's my little figgy floating head thingy. Nom, 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 nom. Let me gnash on ya. All right, mate. It's a bit of a challenge from what I can tell. So, things just been, so how's the game go? Just things bump in the night, really. I guess it's that kind of nonsense gameplay. Can't really pick up. You can't really interact with things either. What about the games where days where you had like good story in your game? So I wanted to say like sort of amnesia. And also, it seems like I'm collecting these eyes. Okay, I can deal with that. Your homes. So I basically I'm just lurking around this house. I'm trying to rob it. I'm trying to collect 20 of these certain things while I'm vo avoiding a weird floating head that I do not want to let touch me. I can kind of dig that. Don't get me wrong, I can. But why do I have to collect 20 of something and then escape? Why can't I say like break into this, into this house but then uncover a secret ghostly story? And my friend is screwing up on me again, isn't it? Thank you. Okay, can I push Q again? It's, it's sad. Stop it. Please stop it. Do I have to sit on you? Well, this is the strangest foot massage I've ever had. But yeah, like I'm saying, why can't we have a decent story in these games anymore? I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's not hard for an indie developer to like de develop a story-based game now, is it? Surely? Certainly? It couldn't be. Okay, it's going to collect more bags of money. I've got four, five. Blowjob lady, you're not going to get me, are you? There's blood on the floor. I mean, why couldn't I break into this house looking for a friend? But then see this weird ghostly floating head flying around. And then I have to try and figure out what the hell happened. Okay, head, where are you? Oops, that's the stairs. It's coming up. Let's see what happens when I have to avoid it. Come on, come on, come on, come and get me. Come and get me head. Come and get me head, come on. Come on, come on. I see you. Crap, the door's closed on me. Oh yeah, where are you? Just want to see how you react. No? Don't want to play? Yes, I know you're rattling. This isn't scary anymore. Hello? Hello? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. I'm seeing a floating head. I know that I won't be dead. Let's go upstairs now. Please don't have a cow. Where is the floating head? I really do not want to die. The game is making me want to cry. Collect the bags and avoid the floating hag. Now we're in the room again. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty much seeing what's going on here. The floating head just patrols the cold one. It's my job to try and avoid it. I avoid it by probably listening out as well as... Uh, Using a printer for some reason, I have no idea why. Work, damn it! And that printer's not doing anything, it's probably... Oh. Okay, so I've got an eye now. Okay, so it's on the middle floor and it's down in the basement. So, I'm safe. Okay, so no more floating eye patterns. And there's also a screaming head lurking around. So there's a floating head. Shut up! I'm trying to play the game here. It's kind of basic, but I want an indie game that's got a good story to it. I'm getting a bit fed up with these whole fine 20 things, like I told you. I want to, I, when I play my indie games from now on, I want a good story to them. I admit that. Is that going to distract the head? I have a feeling it will. I mean, if I was a flowing head, I'd certainly be distracted by music. Okay, that was scary. Oh, fuck! He's got me, he's got me. Hey Harley! <laughs> Suck your dick for a dollar! <laughs> and we're gonna leave the video at this. This has been... You know what? This has been an example of what I don't want to see in games anymore. I don't want to see any more collecting coin business. I don't want to see collecting notes. I want a good, nice, solid, story-driven game where I can actually interact with the... Interact with the world, of course. What I mean by that is, of course, pick up a key, exit a house. Although I didn't mind actually being able to print off the eye. That was kind of cool. Allowing me to see where the floating head bitch was. But I want a nice story. I want that's what I want in my games. I want interactivity. I want to be able to relate with what's going on. Okay, of course you can't relate with what's going on in the haunted house ghost game. But I want to. I don't. I want a nice, enjoyable experience. I don't want to challenge any. I do want a challenge, but I want, I want a challenge-based game. I want a story-driven game that that has a challenge in it that I have to overcome in order to advance the plot. What if I'm to say pick up a steak to drive it into the skull of the bloody weird floating head thingy that allow me to advance to the next stage where there's another monster? Something like that. I just don't want more collecting head thing. And uh, that's all the time I have. There's a link in the description if you want to download it for yourself. It appears like it's going to be on the App Store but as well as on Google Play. And uh, I've been Systematic and a big thank you all for watching. Don't forget to pay your taxes by liking or posting or comment and subscribe to join us on this day. And I will see you soon. Okay, let's get back in and see if we can get a blowjob. It's got to be dangerous or something.